We talked a little bit about the milestone tonight. Um, you know, you guys uh, were talking about the sort of movement you made over the last decade. Um, to be recognized for it, obviously, you must have had some. Yeah, that was, that was big. I actually had no idea that it was my 100th game and that I was getting anything for it. So uh, that was a yeah, pleasant surprise uh, to do it in Canada in front of uh, having a come up that weekend and uh, some other friends and family. So, it's exciting. It's been a long 10 years, but uh, you know, I'm finally starting to feel like I'm better in a little bit, and you know, like, I'm, like I'm used to doing this. So it's uh, it's been great. I mean, uh, obviously, it's an amazing opportunity to be able to play for your country. And, uh, I would, if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't have done it 10 summers ago. What's the grind been like, though? I mean, not everybody puts in that kind of time year after year. I mean, what, what's uh, well, I was, I was saying ten games, ten games a summer doesn't sound like very much, but then you add in all the exhibition games, and then it's uh, in the miles. I mean, I, I, I would be interesting to add up the how many thousands of miles we've done of planes and buses to you know every corner of the globe, almost with the national team. And I think uh, you know that's probably the hardest part is the is the travel. But like I said, we we've always had a really good group of guys, and it's we have a really good time on the road. So I think if if we didn't have that, then I would I would have been. So, Put in that many hours flying you know, all over the place and you know, the right to where else we've been. So. You don't really